Hi, my name is Anthony and my topic is mailing. This week I'm writing about mailing. Mailing was a problem in the old time because it was always too slow to send mails from one place to another place. Total Express. The person, well, because the people used the carriage, the carriage that horse pulls to use to transport. <clears throat> and both people and horse are very slow, so they can't mail fast. The invention of the transport really made a big difference from the mailing, from the old time to now. People first used the carriage to help. But in 1769, James Watt painted an improved version of the steam engine that Ernst Hirsch and Enno Revolution began as early as approached. The 1886 Carl Benz made the first car, which was more than gasoline. In, eight, in the 1820s, Michelin rail transport systems first appeared in England. Then people started to use automobiles and rail train to mail. This was a big jump for the mail transport. People continued to invent new and fast transports. On December 17th, 1903, the Wright brothers made the first airplane. It was made out of cardboard, metal, and wood. <clears throat> the invention of the airplane was a big jump for the human history. This is how people use their invention to improve their mailing transfer. I think as time goes by, one more invention will act it. Technology can even speed up the mail transfer. Maybe one day we don't need to mail to someone because we use emails instead, text messages. And we also use WebChat and FaceTime Talk. Thank you. My name is Alexander Tong, and today I'm going to talk about the light bulbs. In olden times, people used candle lights and torches in the night, but they were not as convenient as light bulbs. The problem was that candles were not as bright and convenient as light bulbs. Candles were too dim for us to read, write, or do any other stuff in the dark. This was a problem because when we wanted to read with candles, it might hurt our eyes. Candles were not safe to move around with either because things might catch on fire. So he invented the lantern, which was another source of light. There was a man named Thomas Edison who invented the light bulb. He created the light bulb in the 15th in his house. He did not get anyone's help at that time when he was trying to make it work. One day, he was working with wires, and he was suddenly connected two wires that made light. He put the wires in the case, and the case glowed. Later over the years, people improved the light bulb to be safer to use. Today, our light bulbs still have problems because they are using too much energy. I think in the future, people will try to make light bulbs use less energy so that they can light up for a longer time. Thank you, everybody. Hello, my name is Diana, and I'm in fourth grade. I go to Fox Chapel Elementary School. My topic is how transportation was a problem. Let's imagine we're back in the 1804. The train was just invented at that time. But there was still a problem. What if this train station was too far away from your house? You could use a horse or a wagon. What if the horse got tired? You would have to walk the rest of the way there. Solve these problems. Now it's 1886. Carl Benz just invented the car. Now we could get there without a horse. The car worked with gasoline, and there was three wheels, two big ones, and one small one in the front. To steer, there was a handle that was connected to the front wheel. The car looked like a horseless wagon. As time went by, it came to Henry Ford's time. He helped improve cars and made the first car assembly.
physical line. As technology improved, we got to the car we have today. What I think um, needs to be improved is that there should be a digital thing on the car to help that will sound when we're about to crash into something in the front and back. I hope you learned a lot about cars today. My name is Kevin Yang. I'm in fourth grade and I go to Matsunaga Elementary School. A long time ago, people didn't have paper to write off, so they invented paper. It was because they used to carve words on bamboo or wood or stone. It was hard, dangerous, because you might cut your hand off, and you have to carry the message, that is, if necessary. So a big, so a big message equals big bamboo or piece of wood, and a small message equals small piece of bamboo. Bamboo is very hard, though. You can't just think you're whittling with soap. It's very heavy as well. Imagine that 100 words could weigh 10 pounds. Making a book is very time consuming and one book could be a bamboo mountain. China made paper and then they shipped it to Asia and Europe and it made writing a lot easier. A man in China called Tai Lun made paper out of tree bark, fishing nets, used cloth, etc. They cut these things up with a knife, washed them, boiled them in the stove, and the boiled materials became this sort of paper batter. They spread this paper batter in the sheets and pasted it them onto the wall to dry. After it dried, it became paper. The making of paper makes a difference in writing and drawing. The moon. People like to go to the moon to learn more things there and they want to be able to come back. But the problem is how to get out of the earth and go to the moon. Because there is no bridge, no highway, so we cannot drive there, there is no air, so we cannot fly there. Then how do we get there? People decided a long time ago to ride a rocket to go into the space because a rocket does not need a bridge, or a highway, or even air to fly. Chinese are credited with having invented a rocket as early as the third century. It was not until the 20th century that the rocket began to take its modern form. A Russian mathematician, an American professor, and a Hungarian physicist made most contributions that led to the invention of a modern rocket. The big rocket with several stages is required since its long flight to a moon and it needs lots of fuel. The first stage lifts the rocket off the Earth. The second stage will fur further move the rocket into a moon's orbit. And one will also need more fuel to come back. In 1969, the Apollo rocket sent three American astronauts <coughs> into the moon's orbit and landed two of them on the moon. Later, the rocket brought them back to the Earth. The three stage big rocket is the solution that is needed to put people into a space flight to the moon, but it still has problems. For instance, these two stages that help people put people to the moon's orbit become useless after the fuel is used up. They become the space junk. People must find a way to clean space junk. It is possible to find a way to get the space junk back for reuse or bring them to the atmosphere so they can burn them.
video conference. You can send pictures with emails and mail to 